today I'm here with my TBR for the summer round of Cramathon. If you guys are unaware, Cramathon is a week-long readathon that myself, Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5, Julia from Julia Sapphire, and Ali from Hardback Hoarder host. This round of Cramathon is going to be taking place from June 10th to June 17th, so if you guys are available during that time, you should definitely come read with us. I have a full announcement video where you can get all of the information if you're interested about the readathon, so I'll leave that up there and down below if you want to check that out. We have a total of seven challenges that you can try to partake in during the readathon, so I thought that I would show you what books I chose for what challenges. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first challenge is to pick a book that you think you're going to give five stars, so a five star prediction. I chose Keep Her Safe by Sophie Hanna, and I think that this book sounds so ridiculously good. It's about a woman named Clara who decides to check into a five-star hotel spa resort. When she arrives, she lets herself into her hotel room to find that it's actually occupied already. She thinks that she recognizes the woman in her room already, but she's not 100% sure because the person who she thinks the woman is is the most famous murder victim in the country. Her name is Melody Chapa and her parents are actually on trial right now for her murder. It's basically the story of Kara trying to figure out if this actually is Melody or not and I just think that it sounds really intriguing so I'm very excited to read this one. I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. The next challenge that we have for this Cramathon is to read a book outside of your comfort zone. So I chose Welcome Home and this is an anthology which is edited by Eric Smith and I have never actually read an anthology so it's basically just a bunch of short stories but as I said I've never read one so I feel like it might be out of my comfort zone. I was supposed to read this a very long time ago for review, so we need to get it done. So I figured this is a great opportunity to do so. The next challenge is to read a book that's been on your TBR for a very long time. So I'm choosing Cracked and this is by K.M. Walton. It follows two boys who are not exactly friends in school, but they end up becoming roommates in a psych ward. One boy named Victor actually tried to commit suicide by swallowing a bunch of pills that his mother had in her cabinet. And then the other boy, named Bull tried to defend himself with a loaded gun against his abusive grandfather and ended up shooting himself. And it's basically the story of them becoming friends, I believe. It's been on my shelf for so long and I do love myself mental health books, so we're gonna see how this one goes. The next challenge that we have is to read an LGBTQ plus own voices novel, so I am reading before I Let Go by this author's name that I can never say, Marike Nijkamp. And this is apparently an own voices arrow spectrum book. I don't know if this is actually accurate or not, but I googled it because I could not find a book on my shelf that I knew for sure was an own voices. So hopefully it is. We'll see. If you guys are interested, we actually put together a couple of resources to try to find LGBTQ plus own voices books, which we have linked to our Twitter, I'm pretty sure. So if you go to at Cramathon on Twitter, then you can probably find the resources that we put up. The fifth challenge is to read something that's not your standard novel. So I'm going to be listening to an audiobook, and the audiobook that I chose is For Every Last Lie by Mary Kubica, and it's about a woman named Clara whose husband ends up dying in a car crash and the police deem it as an accident but Clara is not so sure because her four-year-old daughter Maisie starts saying things and having nightmares that makes her second guess the accident part of the accident. So it's basically her trying to figure out if it actually is an accident. Take a shot for every time I said accident in that one sentence. But I've actually already started this. I'm about halfway through and I'm loving it so much. It is heck of good, so I'm very excited to continue with it. Then the sixth challenge is to read a book with your favorite color on it. If you guys don't know, you'll probably be able to guess based off of, you know, my hair color, but my favorite color is purple. So I chose Glass by Ellen Hopkins. It is very purple. This is the sequel to Crank, which I read a very long time ago, so I figured, you know, I have it. I should probably actually read the sequel. And then the final challenge is to just read seven books, so I chose the third book in the Crank trilogy, and that is Fallout, also by Ellen Hopkins, obviously. So I just figured, since I have the second and third book, I might as well just get 
them over with and also these books fly by so they are perfect for Cramathon. Alright guys, so that is my TBR for Cramathon. Hopefully I'll actually read them all. I'm not doing anything that week other than working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I should be able to read quite a bit. So let me know down below if you plan on joining us and what you guys are planning on reading and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!